Hello, everyone. Let's see if this is working now. Because <laughs> as per usual, technology troubles abound. I am just waiting for the comments to catch up. Uh, I did try to go live on YouTube, but apparently that wasn't happening. <laughs> I have no idea why. So instead, we're back here. And I think that everything is working right. Okay. Aren't these luscious little uh, colors? They make me think of Florida <laughs> and oceans and tropical places. And, and I'm a winter person, but I could so use a tropical vacation right now. Um, not for the heat, just for the away. <laughs> Anyways, these are the new colors um, that I had out. Um, sorry, my, my multitasking is not working. I've had a, I've had a fairly busy couple days. <laughs> and apparently, I've lost the ability to multitask. Let me just, there we go, anyway, comments. Um, See, now, as soon as I do that, there we go. Okay. I am sorry for the technical difficulties. I believe I now have it figured all out. Everything's the only way it's supposed to. It was all set up for YouTube. And when YouTube didn't work, I thought, well, Facebook it is. And somewhere else. You either see what's on the desk or you can see me in the headshot, but I can't seem to make both work. Um, where I have to sit in order to do this stuff doesn't. Anyways, it's all good. In the end, it's all good. I'll, I'll, I'll rub it in just a little bit more. It's nice as demonstrators, we get a PDF and we get to see things earlier, but it is not the same as actually having the catalog and being able to flip through and the really good pictures and such. So this is very exciting. Um, I'm ordering these at the end of the week is the earliest I can order them. So I will have them in hand in a couple of weeks. Um, if if I've given you a catalog before, I will give you a catalog again. Um, if you need one, let me know. I'm also planning to do a catalog launch on the 23rd of April, because uh, by then I will have also been able to order some other stuff and you know maybe have a few things more I could show you. For sure have the in colors, which is why this is out, because um, they're just awesome. So I will have samples with the in colors. I'll have the information on my in color clubs. Um, or samplers, paper, like the in color share or the in color club, which means you want a little bit of each of these new things, or you want all of these new things, you just want to spread it out over five. You can defer some of the upfront costs. More money for stamp sets. <laughs> It'll be fun colors to work with. I'm looking forward to this. So, what I would like to know from you guys is on the 23rd of April in the afternoon, here we go, pet. I'm just going to write on here. Right on here. 23rd of April, catalog launch. I feel like a teacher all of a sudden. Catalog, as soon as I learn how to spell, catalog launch. Live or virtual, that is the question. I can do either. Virtual turned out to be, um, because I had all my stuff with me and if I forgot something and away we went and everybody could make it work and then I also just had it recorded. Um, Sort of got a one-shot deal at it. So I've kind of, as much as I think maybe one can work, <laughs> the other one has so much more possibilities and I've, I'm starting to embrace the possibilities of virtual. So now that's today's question of the day. Live or virtual? You like my pointer today? Uh, at work, I used to always talk, I always had to have a pen in my hand. It was like, it helped me concentrate to have a pen in my hand, but now I mostly don't need to write stuff down. So apparently now it's just gonna be my take your pick tool. So Tracy, with it. Okay. Today I had put in that we were going to talk about memories and more cards. And there's a couple of reasons for this. There's so many products in the catalog, and they are all amazing. And I said them. Um, and sometimes I just I forget that I have things. And in a pinch, it's my go-to. And then I think, you know, if if I forget about it and it's my go-to and it solves my problem, maybe it solves yours too. So memories and more cards. Um, I have talked to you before about note cards. And I do love me some note cards. 
um, I'm going to actually now that I'm saying that I'm going to get them out just so I can show you for comparison and a regular size card for comparison. Um, they all they all have different purposes. They all have a and they all have pluses and minuses to them, I guess. But one of memories of more cards is quick. So this is our standard card base. This is our standard card base. And then our note card. I'll show you the envelopes because they're flatter and that'll be easier to do. So there's a standard one. And these are our note cards. So these are probably the two products you're most familiar with already is note cards and our standard size envelope. I'll point you out the way. So what Memories of More does is their cards and Memories of More are generally, I'm gonna show you two examples. One is not, but look how pretty these cards or these envelopes are. This is just the envelope. It's gorgeous. Now this envelope is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Actually the card stock is, so they're designed to be a little, this will be a little bit bigger. So the beauty of this is you can fit a four by six photo in it, right? So these are, I'm gonna start lining them up this way, a little bit bigger than our regular card, right? So, and like I said, four by six photo, a four by six photo, you would have to trim a little bit to go in this, in our standard cards, but memories are more, a little bit bigger. And then this is our note card. I'm wearing a fuzzy sweater today, <laughs> and apparently I'm getting fuzz everywhere. Um, this is a regular note card and some of the memories of, I'm starting to get too much white here. Let's do this. Um, the memories of more also has a smaller size, which is like for the three by four cards, which is just a bit smaller than the note card. Now a note card you can put in the mail. The memories of more card is too small. All three of these you can mail. This is more of a hand it to somebody kind of deal. So I show you this note card and these Every time there's a new catalog, there's a couple sets of, of memories with one of the, the suites in there or two of the suites. In this case, it was hand penned, which is just a gorgeous floral suite. And there's more of, us. <laughs> there's more of my sweater making an appearance. Um, this is the cards that came. And sorry, see, there's my fuzzy. Do, uh, I, flipped, I flipped the page in my catalog and just knocked everything all over the place. So I'll tell you, I was having a busy day. Um, so these memories of more cards, I was going to look on here to tell you what the price was, but I closed the page of the catalog. 20 cards, 20 of them. No, bigger cards. So this is what you get. Already printed with a lovely pattern. Envelopes printed. These are already scored 20. So this is great. If you're making a bunch of cards and like that, half the work's done for you right there. Now, Memories of More also has, now it's like mixed all my choices up. There we go. Um, you can also get a set that is strictly uh, the white ones, right? So this is the one that has the two size and they're just plain white. So these Memories of More cards, which are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So like I said, the envelope would be just, it's probably four and a half by six and a half, but a four by six picture will fit in here. And then these ones, the card itself is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Envelope's just a bit bigger. So these are the two that come in this pack. And you get 10 of each. And these are $14.25. So again, pretty good price point plus shipping effect. Um, and the work's done for you. These cards are also scored. They're just not printed with anything. So these are the cards themselves. Really good way to get a little bit bigger card if the note cards don't work for you or if you don't want to catch your own, um, really quickly make your projects. The beauty of it though, is they always come with a memory pack um, of cards. And this one, I, I do not know where the case to this one went. This would have come in a nice box and it would have been all like this and covered, but I've, I've dug through it before and used some of the pieces of it. Yes, but trust me, it does come in a better organization than this. And so you get a bunch of the little three by four cards. Seriously, I keep moving stuff on my desk and I keep putting it out of reach. There we go. So these little cards are designed. I'll pick one that's not white so it's easier to see. I love this pattern. 
um, I guess I could go this way. So these little, these cards are three by four and they're designed to pop right over top of this. I now have a background. My, this card is half done. I'm gonna leave it like that because that card's now half done. I'm not sure where that little monkey decided to join us. Uh, maybe we'll throw that monkey on there just for fun. And then there's usually a couple of sticker cards. There's usually a couple sticker cards. As you can see, obviously now I know what I took out of there. Um, they come with it. And then there's these cards. And again, I'll try to find one that's not white just so it shows up a little better. <clears throat> oh, here, I'll flip this one over. So this one says picture perfect on it because these are also meant for, these cards are meant for memory keeping as well. So if you're making a books that go in the, like with the photo sleeves, these cards are designed to fit in those openings. Picture perfect with a really cute, adorable picture underneath. Great scrapbook card. But if you want to use it as just a card, these ones are four by six, the, um, the cards themselves. So look at that, I've got that base layer. And if I combine those two, let's move those out of the way for a second. If I combine these two cards now, which I just, I didn't even look at all of them. Maybe I should actually give you guys a look. Um, so some of them are meant for journaling, right? So this is the intent there's journaling and it says the details. Um, they're all reversible, you get two of each. So if you really wanted to, mine are gonna be all mixed up by now, but um, so if you really wanted to, and you wanted to use this pattern because it's gorgeous, look at that green. But you also wanted enjoy. Well, one one card you can use this and use the other side because there's two of them. I'm gonna keep that out because we might use that. Um, so yeah, lots of different color. They go with the suite. If you have the DSP from the suite, the pattern paper, or you have the stamps and the dies, you could extend this out hugely. Look at how this is. Love that. Um, some of them, so some of them will have writing on them. And uh, Simple pleasures, picture of you and a friend, and something easy, simple pleasures, inspirational card, carpe diem. So yeah, some are pictures, some are uh, just nice graphics. Be you, there's a good sentiment for people. So here's the thing. So if you like the sentiment, it's on a whole card. Maybe you don't want to use the whole card, you just want to use this. Um, usually these are really easy to fussy cut out. So that might end up being what we do. Okay, so lots of ones there. Uh, it's the same for the big ones with the big cards, aren't these pretty? Oh. Uh, see what I have two of them. No. There's less of the big ones than there is of the small ones. Um, but, oh, there we go, right there with my. <laughs> so there you go, those are the two sides of it. So this one actually already has, the sent already has the sentiment on it. So really, if I put this on a card, sentiments there, card there, I, I could give the card just like this and it would still be pretty. Or I could jazz it up a little bit. So these ones are, are a little bit of both. Um, this one has some black and white in it. They don't always, sometimes they're, um, <laughs> some, sometimes they're just the colors of the suite. Okay, I didn't realize what this one said until I just looked at it. It says currently loving. And because my mind is a little weird, um, I'm thinking, so you, this is like, you just put the picture of your current girlfriend. This is who I'm currently, or your current boyfriend or your current, I don't know, or food, I'm currently loving, yeah. Anyways, that's where my brain, my weirdo brain goes. Um, life is a garden of possibilities. Oh, that's a nice sentiment. I like that. Uh, there probably was a few more before I picked over them. Uh, everyday adventure. So yeah, lots of cool, lots of cool things um, that you can just, like I said, plop down. Now, if you want to, where did I do with my sample card? So this is what I did. One of the cards. I used the memories and more pack that came the ones that are already printed. I took one of the big cards. I'm not even sure where the rest of the card is. I took one of the big cards and I actually cut it in half because I wanted this picture. And that was what was on the back of it. The other half of it is in here somewhere. As, as I am wont to do, this was on my desk. So this is leftover ribbon from my paper pumpkin kit. It's pale papaya, which is a gorgeous color. And it just happened to be the color that was in this suite. And I thought I just need a little bow to put on here. I just need a little something, something. And then this celebrate today was off the labels. And I just popped it up on dimensionals. Added a couple little bling, boom. I think this card's lovely. Now there's lots of Throw in a four by six, send it to the family members. Um, did I mention the back of the envelope too? Look, I mean, there's 
you get this in the mail, like oh, they're just gorgeous. So that was pretty easy, right? I just popped a few things on. That's all I did is I went to this little thing here. And let's see, what one are we gonna do? So there's two of each card. I kind of screwed up, there we go. That one and this one. Okay, so these are the two different patterns. There's just two sheets of each. So I wanna make a birthday card using this one. So I'm gonna do this happy birthday. So, and I think I've shown you this trick before. So these are stickers, which means boom, done, right? But I don't wanna stick this straight down. I like, I like my embellishment or my dimensionals. So you have a couple choices. You can do what I'm doing and just take all the tacky off with your hands or, or like some of it. Um, I do have my old retired embossing buddy, which is full of cornstarch. Um, and you can get like cornstarch pens. You can just make a little container with cornstarch in it. This white on white is a little hard to see, but the label is there. There we go. And I'm just tamping it down with some of the cornstarch. And that will take some of the sticky off because I don't want, if this gets squished, I don't want the thing to stick to it. So yeah, see, that's, that's all it took. I got a little bit on the end where I was putting my finger. So that thing is no longer sticky. Um, if you don't have the fancy little thing of cornstarch or whatever, you can also just stick it on your pant leg. You can stick it on your hand. Anything that will just take the sticky off. But see, now this is this is like barely sticky. Uh, and because I was throwing the cards as I was doing them and tossing them off to the side, I have buried my, <laughs> my dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to take our dimensionals out. And this person is lucky because, like I said, my fuzzy sweater today seems to be sticking everywhere. And there's a little bit of black fuzz on the back of this too. So they get some of my sweater. Okay, so I wanna do, I guess I should have put the other piece down before I did that. Um, I shouldn't have peeled the back something. So this is what I wanna do. Now this is this is a little too tone on tone for me, so I'm gonna turn in between, but I wanted to be able to lift it up. Oh, I might actually put it over there. I like it off to the, I like things off to the side. Actually, I like it right like that, just off to the side. Now I do need something behind it to give a little bit of separation from the white. Plus, I completely forgot to hear this. So we're going to do it any farther. And I forgot what I'm doing. Um, one of the other things you may have noticed is I haven't had to use a lot of supplies. I'm going to be having to have three cards done here in no time. And all I've used is what's in the kit and adhesives. What's in the kit, sorry. What's in the cards pack and little things without any adhesive or without any stamps, without any dyes, without it which I realize is somebody who sells stamps things and dies, I should tell you, you need to buy those. But really, you can make gorgeous cards just using these things. There's new ones, like I said, coming out in the white ones, the plain white ones, they, they will carry over. This particular pattern won't, but there's a couple new patterns in the new catalogs that are just as lovely. Oh, I can't get over how much I like this card. Sometimes it's a pattern just hits you and you're just like baffled by it. Okay, so in this case, like I said, I want a bit of separation. And in this case, I'm going to use this uh, coral color. I think this is Clipso Coral. If I if I was to pay attention and look in there, in the catalog, this is Blushing Bride. Um, the catalog lists all the colors that are in a card pack. So even before you get it, you will know what colors are in there. So if you're looking to do, you know, wedding or anniversary or something where you want to match or school colors, where you want to match, it says right in the catalog what colors are in the card pack. So you don't have to guess. Okay. What I am going to do, though, use my brain. Um, I'm going to center this, ouch, which is what I want to do. I want to center this on here so I get a little separation. And because I already took the backs off those. And then when I go to put it down, now I'll have a better idea what I'm doing. <laughs> because, you know, work smarter, not harder. There we go. Oh, I like that. OK, so I got my little bit of pink that I wanted. So now, sticker, done, done. Again, I don't have to do anything else. Love that. But <laughs> because I can, because I'm trying to remember all of the things that I need to tell you guys, because there's always so many. Um, the stuff in the catalog is selling out. I can tell you that. The stuff that is retiring is selling out. There's little um, things that sometimes will come out in their limited time offers. Um, some of those things are going on low. So if you see any of the products you want, and I, and I don't, I'm not trying to hard sell anybody on anything. I just don't, if somebody wants something, I want them to be able to get it. So these are blue gem. That's not what they're called though. <laughs> Rhinestone waves. So the preview that I showed you, I'm so busy playing with my thing, I lost it. Um, 
there was a set of waves. Uh, the stamp set and the dies are carrying over into the new catalog. They came out as a bit of a sneak peek. But the foil paper, the cool wave paper that looked like poured paint, and these luscious, luscious blue gem uh, rhinestones are only available till the end of April. These are just like kind of like a perk of ordering the other stuff early. You get to order some of these things. But look at these colors. Speaking of speaking of Florida and waves, I love the water. Always have. Um, and that that's this is just water to me. They're beautiful. So I like this little darker one. I think that goes well with this color. I don't even know, but honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember which colors these are. Uh, this one looks like Night of Navy. And this, any chances Night of Navy? No, is Misty Moonlight. But I think when you go darker on them, it works. So I'm going to, I'm going to add a little bit of bling just to this card because I like to. I'm going to put a couple down there. I'm going to take one of these other little ones and I'm going to put it up there. And I'm going to call her done. Move those out of the way so I don't run. So there we go. Do, do, do. Big impact, low amount of supplies, lovely cards. Um, what did I do with the envelope? I put the envelope somewhere. Okay, so then we also have the little ones. <laughs> this time, before I do anything else, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna put some adhesive on this thing and put it in place. So, and these ones, these ones are cut in the traditional style. So those of you who get driven nuts by the fact that I don't cut my cards this way, um, you'll like these ones. And, and I, I'm not opposed to it. They do stand up and it's all good. Um, my goodness, I see, I don't even wanna cover this. I love this paper, this pattern on this thing so much. I don't even wanna cover it, uh, but I will because that's why I'm here. So I'm gonna put, here I'll, here, I'll show you, I'll show you, because sometimes you're going to look at this and you're going to say, if I was scrapbooking, but I'm not. But that doesn't mean I can't use today's of confident I'm going to make this work, but I'm just going to stick it down. I think I need a different color in between, though. This is not quite the green I want. Uh, let's see what color is this. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I gotta quit pulling stickers off um, without. But what I'm gonna do, because it's the exact same size as the one I'm trying to put a background on. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna stick, do I wanna go this corner or this corner? I'm gonna go this corner. I'm gonna stick this one down. And I'm gonna actually, I'm going to put this okay. So I put that one down just so I'd have less things to carry. So this one, I, I want to I want to be able to see the stripes underneath. So I am going to just stick this like this, and then I'm going to stick it like this. So by splitting that in half, yes, there's a little gap here, but in a minute you're not going to care. Um, and the front is just kind of my green on green. But the reason why this is okay, and the reason why this card that says today's events is not going to matter, that it says today's events, is because I'm going to layer on a thinking of you. And I'm just going to layer it on. I want a little bit of this printed flower to still show, though. And see, I didn't even line this up ahead of time. I just knew it was, <laughs> I was just confident. Uh, let's not say I knew. I was just confident it was going to work. And it does. So I can put this here. And I can still keep the food that I wanted to keep. I still got my little interesting pattern going on the back. And I cover up the thing that says today's event, which I don't need. Now, because I, as I said, I'm a little obsessed here. Like little bits, but I'm going to take, the, take the, the, the super stickiness off. I'm going to put a few dimensionals on the back. Sorry, I'll do that all off screen. I can put a couple dimensionals on the back. And then I'm going to put it there. Ta da! And because that's a cute little yellow flower that is adorable. I'm going to add another one to stretch it out. And you know what? I'm, I think I'm trying too hard to keep that. I like this little flower and I want to keep it. Here's another use for your take your pick tool. When you're 
big fat fingers are too much to get in where you're trying to go, just put it on here and then you can use it like a placement tool. I'm, I'm trying to keep this on here because I like it, but um, it's proving to be in the way too much. So I'm actually going to take it out. I'm going to keep the green and just cover the flower. But see now with that little gap in there, I don't have that anymore because I popped that in. Oh, look at that. I love it. Now, I could put some more ribbon on it. I could just leave it alone. But one of my favorite products of all time is twine. White twine and this linen thread. Ooh. I'm gonna go with the white one. So I am because I because I can. Um, if you don't have it, I think this card would be simply lovely without it. Um, I tend to like to bling with some twine or some gems, or in some cases both. So there's my ribbon. Ribbon scissors, because yes, we have scissors for everything. Oops. And there's a little twine. And now the, the easiest way to do this, I find, is a glue dot. But if you're if you're a fan of the white glue, then all you need to do is put a little dot there, give it just to, to set up so it's not like super, super wet, and then pop your bow into it and then just you know, give it a minute to set up. With the glue dots, you don't have to let them set up at all. You just I just rolled up a glue dot. Diane Hutchinson, this one's for you. I rolled it up like a booger. And there we go. Now look how cute that card is. And if you and if somebody, if you're especially if you're dropping something off, because this is the one that's not mailable. This size is too small. But if I was just going to drop somebody off a coffee, some cookies, a little treat, drop in a little card that says thinking of you. How cute is that? And again, if I hadn't buried it somewhere, I'd <laughs> hope for it. <laughs> so uh, lots, lots of easy ways to make cards with this. And then if you had wanted to, like I said, you could <clears throat> tie into the suite. You could get out the, the designer series paper here. I do actually have series paper. I'm going to find another card. I'm going to show you without using the cards, I actually use a half and half. How about that? We'll make another card. I was going to make three and try to keep this to a half an hour, but I like to play. So there's that. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this is the paper that came with the suite. So I'm just going to see if this will work. I'm going to flash over that pretty yellow. So this is like a little bit of pattern, a little bit of um, floral. It's a love. It's a gorgeous set. Now, where did those purples go? Look how pretty these purples are. So, I know that this is a four by six card. So I'm going to. I'm going to, set, I'm going to set this right over top of everything else. I'm going to make sure my flowers are going in the right direction for what I want. What I'm about to attempt. So I'm just going to cut off. Uh, I'm going to give you a tip while I go to. I'm just going to cut off a six inch strip. Here's my tip for you. The other day I was cutting on here and I thought, I just replaced the blade. I'm surprised that I would need a new one because the first blade I bought for this thing lasted forever. But then I looked and I had taken this out to an event and there was a little bit of extra crud and stuff in it because it had been traveled and had been thrown in a bag and stuff. So I cleaned out this little track. Now this little track pops out sometimes when you don't want it to. This little track pops out, right? So one side there's there's barely any groove, and then the other side there's this nice deep groove. So what I did is I just took my favorite, <laughs> I have no idea where it came from, paintbrush that's a little bit stiffer in the bristles, and I went through and I just cleaned out this track. And holy cow, these blades, whether I'm scoring or whether I'm cutting, there's so much less resistance now. Cut in there. Hey Donna. Um, they cut so much better. So yes, maybe you needed a new blade. It depends what you're doing. But also, just make sure you keep your track of your trimmer clean because holy cow, what a difference it made. The first, the first thing I went to score afterwards, I actually had to, I had to do it twice because um, I pushed too hard because I was used to having to fight it a little bit and uh, went right through the paper because it was just it went so much, so much smoother the second time. Okay, so what I've done now is I just cut a three. So this was six inches wide. I cut a four inch strip and a three inch strip. And you're thinking, well, that was crazy, Tracy. Why didn't you just cut a four inch strip? 
Well, because I'm going to flip this one over because look how pretty that is. Mm, I do have yellow ribbon, but it's not the right color. So look at that. So I love this. This is such an easy layout. A, a different strip on the bottom than, than on the top. So much better. What did I do? Momentarily lost my my uh, seal. Since I'm, you know, all about the trip tips today, um, this this seal, I am, I love it. There was some growing pains with it. Bonus of the new seal, this seal, which I, I say new, but it's really it's been like a year, um, is that it is a stronger adhesive than the previous one. But because it's stronger, it takes a bit more to break it. So when, when you're rolling to the end, all you have to do is make sure you just kind of flip your thing back on itself. You, the, this one, however, even though it's stronger, and this is where, who knows how physics works, I guess. I'll say physics. Um, it, it, you can usually pick it back up again without destroying everything underneath. Like if you're a little bit crooked, you can pick it back up again and put it down. So crazy that it's stronger. So here's what I did. I lined up this up and as I'm putting this down, I am pushing my paper into the seam of the other one. So I don't have to put a ribbon or anything else to cover this seam because I push the papers together. So even though they're different paths, mistakes is if you make a mistake, embellish over top of it. So if this had been a big gap or something, I could have you know, put something over top, but I don't need to in this case. Although I will tell you, oh, look at this. The, like I said, the benefits of not cleaning your desk. This ribbon, <laughs> which came out in the seasonal catalog, and I don't know if I'm supposed to say it or not, so I hope I don't get in trouble, but it's carrying over. Um, this ribbon is like super soft and super nice. It's very thick though. And so um, it's great for treat packaging. It makes a nice bow, but because it's just the way it is, it also makes like a nice layer. Actually, I'm gonna do that now that I did that. So this is the other thing. You don't even have to wrap it around because I know when I said, just put a piece of ribbon over it, you guys are saying that you've already glued it down. That doesn't matter. You can just set it over top. So look at that. It just gives you, it's, it's almost like a layer of white cardstock that you put underneath, only it's textured. So it's just that much better. Uh, I am going to, my favorite adhesive, um, this should have been an advertisement for adhesive. I think I've used all the adhesive so far today, which is not what I was intending, but that's okay. Um, I love this adhesive, though. Tear and tape is my go-to. So I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape down. And I'm doing it, but it's easier to put a piece of tear and tape there. It doesn't matter if that one is straight or not. But when I go to put this down, this is what matters. And that it's centered. So I can do this as I... So what I'm doing is I am first making sure I'm centered this way, and then I'm making as much of a line, straight line at the bottom as I can, and then I'm just going to go whoa, over top. Ta -da. So like I said, I didn't need to do that, but I love this ribbon and I happen to have a piece on my desk, so there we go. Now we're going to take some labels. Happy birthday. <laughs> do I want that one? Do I want that one? I think I'm going to go with the yellow, these yellow flowers. And where'd the happy birthday go? There it is. I'm going to put this down first. And this is a sticker. Um, and it will stick well enough to this ribbon. It's pretty, it's a pretty good sticker. Um, it's going to be slightly off because I'm, now I'm just going to stick the top to the card. So it's not perfectly flat, but it's fine. And then I'm going to take birthday. If I can get it off of the piece of card that it's on the back of, there we go. I'm going to take this one down. And I'm going to half and half it on here. Yep, I have decided, I was going to just stick it to the card. I was going to show you that I could make a card without dimensionals and I was going to be all smug about it. Hello, Nancy. But as it turns out, I can't because I really want this card to have dimensionals on this. So apparently I cannot make a card without dimensionals. Do any of these not? No, they all have dimensionals. I love dimension. That's all there is to it. Alrighty, so we're going to put this one. Camera, so everything's off kilter now. So I'm sitting at a weird place at my desk. 
And I mean, you could line things up. I don't know what my problem is that I like to have things offset and unlined. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little off and, I, and it shows. <laughs> there we go. And then, because I'm not going, I know I was gonna say, I'm not gonna put ribbon. I realize there's ribbon there, but I'm not gonna put more ribbon. I am going to bling it out a little bit. But not with the focus of See, I, I had no actual plan. Oh, I had no actual plan when I started. It was just going to be like, hey, I'm going to show you how to make cards with these. And it is. Um, and as you can tell, I had no plan. So um, can you tell if you've ever noticed when I use embellishments, lots of times I will have like, a, but have, can you tell by this that maybe I really, really like these embellishments? These little brass butterflies are awesome. Um, and yeah, they're nice and flat, so so I can layer everything else up, and I don't have to worry about these things making the card all bulky. Uh, so I'm going to. I'm trying to put these. I just realized how closely the the color is to these flowers, and they're going to hide a little bit. So I'm going to try to find somewhere to put the butterflies that is green or purple, because then the butterflies will show up better. And I'm going to put. And put it over here. I'm going to put one on the label. So there we go. I have my three little butterflies because I like to do things in trees. Uh, get the right angle to get the butterflies. So look at that. A little bit of DSP. And it doesn't even have to be at the DSP that goes with the set, quite honestly. Um, so yeah, this one has a little bit of DSP and some things off my desk and just the stickers from the pack. This one is one of the cards from the pack and some of the stickers. Uh, this one is the memories and more the pattern. A message because I still need people to vote now. And then that one is all just the cards and stickers out of the thing. So look at those cards. Super pretty, super easy to do. Like I said, these the bigger size is the right size for a four by six picture if you want to include pictures in your cards. I think people still do as much as everything is digital. I, I think people still do print pictures nowadays. And then these adorable little ones, which I like I said, I just I'm going to show it again because I love that paper so much. Um, there you go. They all have envelopes. Look at pretty envelope. The other ones are buried. Oh, I found the little one. So they all come as scored cards, pre-cut, pre-scored cards with envelopes. And then your card bases or your card pack. I've locked left. Lord knows I locked more cards or actual memory keeping or scrapbooking with all the leftovers. Um, it probably would not take you very long to sit down, take out your, your 20 pack of cards of the white, like the card pack that you bought this, put it out, go through those cards, pick all your favorites, flip over. This is what I want as a background. This is what I want as a sentiment. Here's a couple stickers. Here's what I'm going to use. And um, whip these cards together in a matter of no time, like 20 of them. Uh, so there's today's product of the day, I guess. The Memories of More cards and the Memories of More card pack. Um, and remember, the white ones will carry over. They're in, they've been in the catalog for a few years now, just the white ones. Um, the patterned ones, the, this particular pattern is going to retire, um, as is the other one that's in there that I kind of forgot what it was. Let's see. Um, there's there's two of them in there right now. I can't remember what the other one is. It's more bold. It's got houses on it. There'll be new ones in the other one. So keep these in mind. They're in the scrapbooking section, but they make lovely cards. So thank you, ladies, for joining me. Uh, don't forget, vote now. Would you like a the annual catalog launch to be live or virtual? Um, I will be planning in the next little while. So I will also put it in my newsletter tomorrow. And um, then I'll put out an announcement once. I I'll be back live. I have an event on Thursday. Um, and so I will have a video technique for you on Thursday of the baby wipe technique that ties into our paper pumpkin cards that we made 
last week. Um, <laughs> again, there's benefits to the mask off because everything is just sitting close. So this is the, uh, this is, I mean, I'll have a couple different ones for you, but this background here, that's the idea that we're going for. So if you'd like, um, the video will load at seven o'clock on Thursday night and you can listen to me ramble. You just won't be doing it live. <laughs> so have a good week, everybody. We'll see you in a couple of days and uh, thank you for tuning in.